Hey there, Fight here with a new toy and you are going to love this. It's such a time saver. Basically, if you're running AdSense sites or building AdSense sites, if you're doing Amazon sites, if you are doing sniper domains, if you're writing content, which is, you know, built around long tail keywords, you may know uh, the value of the contextual targeting tool inside your Google AdWords account. It gives you wonderful suggestions, by the way, Ninja Trick, you know, very, very good stuff here for writing articles to the flow. You can pull out really good information. Anyway, uh, all this information in here, you know, you look for Mustang in the United States and English, and it comes up with all this stuff here. And then you can go and dig deeper and deeper and deeper. So, you know, you do one iteration, you go, all oh, right, you know, there's all this stuff on Ford Mustangs, for the 2010 model. Oh, second iteration, we've got the, the Shelbys. Uh, look at this here. Oh, wow, the Cobra. Oh, well, we've done the other expansion, etc., etc. And you get tons and tons and tons of good keywords, great keywords, including, you know, the cost per click, which is, of course, much more realistic, well, compared to the one you're getting in the normal keyword tool. Anyway, doing all of this, well, you know, then you have to go in and copy this. Control C. Uh, then you have to go into your Google keyword tool up here. And you, uh, what I mean, of course, is up here. Uh, you do the search volume, all that kind of stuff. And you know, even if you have an outsourcer who works for $2.50 an hour, that adds up. You know, all this clicking here, control A, control C, then you know, putting it in a file and going over here, keyword tool, search for the volume, all that kind of stuff. So enter, da, 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 drum roll, the Google contextual tool. All right, all you do is you type in your keyword here. You say what country and what language you want to have. And you say how many iterations. An iteration is, you know, how often you go deeper and deeper by clicking the plus again and again. And then it goes off and does the search for you. Um, here's a live demo of this thing playing. So basically what it does, it fires up a copy of Firefox. So you need to have Firefox, okay? It doesn't work without Firefox. It signs into your account. That's just a demo account. Uh, you know, you need to have your own Google account. Not very difficult to get one. Uh, in the instruction manual, I'll show you how to get one in case you don't have a Google account. Then it types in the keyword here, uh, types in the, uh, it selects the country and language you selected. It does the expanded, you know, eight groups were expanded. And then it does another expansion. And then it takes all of this and takes all the keywords you've selected and dumps them into the keyword tool. There you go, keyword tool. In it goes, hello, whoa, my computer is going slow. It goes in here, it goes, it selects once again, country and language typed in, it loads it, and then we're done. It basically, you know, does a bit of processing, collects it all, and then puts it back into the interface. And there we are. So uh, depending on how many keywords you use and the, the, the speed of your internet connection, etc., the whole process then took half a minute or so, okay? That's the big difference. You could go through the co uh, contextual keyword tool and do that all yourself, sure. This, you click one button, it literally is one button, okay? Then you export it as a CSV and you're done. You slice and dice the data any way you like. You take all of these and you sort them by uh, cost per click. You take them and dump them into the GoDaddy keyword tool, uh, bulk registration tool and find out which ones are available as a exact match domain, whatever you want to do. Save yourself lots of time, click one button and there you go. Alrighty, go check it out down below. I'll speak to you soon, bye.